this problem, we have your car, which I'm calling car two, or the purple car, moving at five meters per second toward the right, when another car going 10 meters per second toward the right comes in and hits you. After the collision, you know that your car gets sped up to a speed of nine meters per second to the right, and what we are wondering is how fast the car that hits you is now going after the collision. Now, while I'm calling this car one and car two, or red car and purple car, I didn't put any subscripts for any of the variables here because I'm just gonna go with red and purple. If you're writing this on your own paper, unless you have colored pencils, you might wanna subscript anything in red with a number one and anything in purple with a number two, so that way you know the difference between uh, the mass of car one and the mass of car two, or red car, purple car. So now in order to solve this problem, it is a conservation of momentum problem. I know that the mass, or the momentum of the red car plus the momentum of the purple car has to equal those momentums after the collision when they're added together. So red car momentum prime plus purple car momentum prime. I'm going to expand since each of these momentums I know is mass times velocity. I'm going to write that down for each one. And when we get to the primes, it'll be the same mass, but velocity prime because it will be something different after the collision. What we're looking for is the velocity of the red car after the collision. So I'm looking for this term in my equation. I have all the other ones. I have both of the masses. I have both of the initial velocities and the final velocity of the purple car. So I can solve this. I just need to do a little algebra first. I'm going to subtract the purple car term on the right over to the left side. So on my left, I have mass times velocity of the red car plus mass times initial velocity of the purple car minus mass times V prime of the purple car. And that's going to equal the red car's mass times the velocity prime. Just have to divide by the red mass now, and we are good to finish. I have mv for the red plus mv for purple minus mv prime for purple. Divide that by the red mass, and you get the velocity of the red car prime. Plugging in the numbers. 425 kilograms times 10 meters per second plus 350 kilograms times 5 meters per second minus 350 kilograms times 9 meters per second and I will divide that by 425 kilograms. And when I plug all that into my calculator, it should give me, going into the blue a little bit here, the velocity of the red car prime. I'm out of room to write that in the bottom, so I'm gonna write it in the top right corner, but I know once I plug that into my calculator that the red car after the collision is going to have a speed of 6.7 meters per second and that will be to the right. It will continue to move toward the right following the purple car.